Ghost Trick, the last dinosaur. That doesn't make any sense. Spyro, you 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 could give it, describe it some sense, but Ghost Trick, what are you doing? Hey there, one, the Sow Cow. Last time, what did we do last time? I know we I did like a full chapter in one video. That was weird. Yeah, that's right. That's right. They got the wrong girl. And these people have fused into a single being in order to enter the Tower of Crystals. Uh, oh. This is how the scene begins here as we get back. Earthquake powers! Well, at least now he'll be able to be maybe a bit nicer to me. I wonder if I no, they probably would have hidden that reveal. I was gonna say if you like if I could have went to the kidnapper zone early when I'd opted not to and wasn't able to go back, but like obviously they would not have let me get all the way to the suitcase or whatever. Whoa, red zone. That's right. Honestly, that's pretty wild. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I mean, obviously, it's not a coincidence. Obviously, there's a lot of play here. No coincidences. This sprite I find a little bit hard to read, like it is extremely busy, like everyone has a very clean design to them, except for that man. <laughs> everyone cares a lot about distance at a time like this, Lin. That is true. Maybe they're not there? Like, I don't think... Like, would they have a call... Call support? Call screen? Call view? Number? View? I don't know what it's called. Call look... Look up? You see the number when you call, but like, everyone has rotary phones, so they wouldn't know. I mean, that's fair. Oh my gosh, it's Cabanera. You can tell because he stretches out his eyes. Cabanella, sorry. I only read your name, I haven't heard it. I kind of like his groove, but doing that every time he does something is starting to wear a little bit. Just a little bit. I love his scarf, though. Why would you do that? Isn't your whole deal about how you want to have an absolutely spotless record? How is bringing a guy here to the minister's office make any sense? Also, we're in Britain? All this time? <laughs> oh, we do have a witness. Ghosts are a thing. Ghosts are real. But I don't have time to, like, put all of that in Ledger's Thritcher before Sizzle disappears. Uh... Why are we in trick time? Well, I guess I'll click on names and click on bubbles and make text happen. Do you think her hair thing is on purpose, or does it just kind of happens on its own? Man, I don't know. I feel like something happened to Kevin era. 
Like, at first I thought it was kind of neat. Like, he brought a certain energy to the story. But something about his writing I feel changed. And he's getting very tedious in a weird way. That I can't really explain. It's the butt detective droid. Yeah, I went there. I don't know why. Okay. Now I'm sure what I'm gonna do from here. Things black flat. Whoosh. That's right. Pay attention to me. No, I don't want to talk to him. I don't. You're forcing my hand. Great. Fantastic. We got to spend time with this man. He's just ah, everything it says just does nothing. And Cecil forgets that parentheses don't mean nothing in the mindscape. All right, but I just want to go past you. Oh, maybe I can just do cancel? But no, see? If I cancel, I can't go beyond. This man is an obstacle. Yeah, this is literally the same text. Um... Okay, so he's in the way, and I can't do anything here. Am I supposed to phone somewhere? Like, to go where? Oh, we could go to his apartment, I guess. Luxurious... No, not the parlor. Ah, Lady Red apartment. There we go. Let's check that out. Like, why not at this point? Maybe we can get an update on the situation at hand. Uh, well, bed is empty. Maybe we should just set a bathroom, though. Like, don't panic yet. Really? Okay, so that's not it. Yeah, and the phone is out of range of everything else. What am I supposed to do? Alright, maybe Cecil will have a thought bubble for me. Everything is kind of glitchy. Thought bubble me up! Or don't. Cause I can't go beyond. Like he is an obstacle. Oh, oh! Okay, I managed to dodge around his orb. That's a gameplay element now. Oh, I see. That's how that mistake happened. That's pretty smart. Couldn't tell the difference. Like, they probably had, like, no physical description. Because <laughs> they look pretty different. Right! I need to go to the park and look that up. Alright. From here. I can go here. Oh, hey! You're at the end of that thought line. He's, he's, he has good humor, though. Don't just jag into the conversation there. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna change things. Uh oh. Ah, I mean, he's actually 100% correct on this. Oh, 
All right, uh, here we go. Yeah, so it was explained to me that what was supposed to happen was that the Cupid was supposed to turn the other way and fire an arrow at the poppers, at the firework poppers, and then they would blast up and throw confetti. But in her genius, Camellia somehow just did that little mistake, and uh, unfortunately, this man just got shot in the head, possibly? <laughs> no, okay, that's just his memory. Yeah, that guy kept a loaded gun hung on the wall. Like, that's just super weird. But yeah, I was supposed to shoot the other way and start the poppers. Whoa, couldn't see that. An impossible... I wonder if it was a ghost. I wonder if a ghost did this. A murder ghost. Let's go through the text in order. Wait, but like, so you didn't know what happened? You were just willing to- I don't know, you know what, honestly? I- yeah, it's an emotional decision. I- I could see that happening. Yeah. Yep. This is the clip show episode. Hey, we're like at midnight something. We got like what? I don't know in what season we are. Like anywhere between five and seven hours? Alright, an impossible move. Uh, that, yeah, I have witnessed that firsthand. Uh. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it is a pretty neat little thing, so I understand. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, see, it is facing there. And something made it turn around. It does sound like something I'd be able to do as a ghost. I have been wondering in the past about, a, like, an evil person with ghost powers. Like, imagine, I, I feel like if this could be known and semi-controllable, there would be people willing to sacrifice themselves to have ghost powers for a night. Like, totally, absolutely. Hmm, whoop. What do you do? Robot sounds. In the song! Ah, uh, hmm, I see. I see. So then you just make the whole murder scene even weirder for everyone else involved. Uh. I mean, to be fair, now, now you're like, futzing around with evidence and all that, like, you have in order to, to, you have committed a lot of crimes suddenly. <laughs> I mean, none of them are death penalty worthy, but yeah. Oh, is that what is in the wooden box? I wonder if I had went to the park. Like, if I had remembered to check out the park, I just kept forgetting. Okay, no more flippies. Well, 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 well. <laughs> I 
She says that out loud with Caravella, just like right there. Just completely out of the conversation. So maybe, I don't know, maybe he has evil ghost power. I don't know. Well, if it's ghost powers, it wouldn't be around. But a person that wanted a job done, though, would be, so. And legally, that's just as culpable. Still in the park. Yeah. Alright, we got a little bit of time. Oh, no, I want to go... I want to go to the park. Wait, do something about the kidnapping? <laughs> what? <laughs> what does that even mean? I'm gonna click the speech bubble. That's over nothing. Yeah, the whole bunch of stuff happened. He just saw these people stand there staring at each other for a couple of minutes. Dance move. Hmm. That's that. I'll use my ghost power to make the fan fall on his head. Wouldn't that be pronounced boy if you just add more O's? Like, I understand the intent, but... What's that? A chair? A folding chair? Yeah, okay. Where have you been carrying that? Possibly. I think that's the next job, huh? Find a miracle? Uh huh, uh huh, that's true. Oh, sure. Let's do that. Brain zone! Let's talk to a professional. That's fair. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'm not sure I'm following what you mean here. I mean, I can... Hmm. Ah, I mean, that's what I've been doing for the last few episodes, buddy. <laughs> I mean, I guess I can try and zapping... Back. No... I'm just gonna not address that man as much as I can. Like, it's just, he is a complete dead end. Let's try and go there again. Ladies red apt. Aptitude for red ladies. Like, is she here? Is there anything to do from here? Hey, she's back. There's like a weird onion in that bed. There we go. Spotlight. Yeah, I feel like she looks completely different. Hair color, hairstyle, eye color. Completely different individuals. Alright. Whoa! Fade out. Is this chapter end? I feel like the chapters are getting, like, shorter. Maybe it's because I'm getting better? I don't know what any of that means. But no, yeah, chapter break, sure, we'll stop there. Yeah, chapters are getting a little bit shorter. Well, hey, I'm not gonna complain, I guess? I mean, like, it just, just fits so nicely, it's just not something I expect. Next time, we're gonna do something with something. Whoa.